guys, uh, we will create a program that will solve the average grade of a student using for loop statement in C++. Before we continue, I would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers in my channel. If you are new with my channel, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please click the bell button so that you will be notified if you newly upload the video. And don't forget to support my channel guys by subscribing. So let's get started. Actually, this uh, problem was requested by one of our avid subscriber. So, uh, actually the code is not very difficult if you have already some experience in C++ programming but if you are new uh, I think this uh, problem is quite tricky and hard so we have here the comment from line number 1 up to 6 average underscore grade underscore 4 underscore loop that CPP yours truly Jacob BKS Compradama and ITMIT and then my two websites where you can download free source code or copy for free uh, jkrpomperada.com and jkrpomperada.blogspot.com and my personal email address where you can reach me at jkrpomperada at gmail.com at present time uh, guys I'm accepting programming jobs programming projects IT consultancy tutorials in computer programming uh, software testing, information technology consulting, and software engineering, you can reach me at jkrpoprada at gmail.com. Thank you very much in advance. And then my location is Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. Now, let us go here in line number 8 and 9. Uh, line number 8 is Sharp Include IO Stream. It is a library file for input-output in C++, line number 8 for CMAT, for math library later on in our program we have here using namespace std and then we have here int name a function for the starting and ending point of our program execution and then we have here left curly bracket in line number 14 in line number 16 up to 18 we have here a series of variables and num grades integer when we say integer, it refers to whole number, positive, negative, including zero. Double, we have your grades, total, and gen general, av or general average. Uh, double means there is a decimal values. So here, we have your line number 20 to 23, uh, 22, the title of our program, average grade solver using for loop in C++. And then we have your 23 up to 27 we are accepting input from the user by pressing negative 1 the program will stop and then it will compute the grades here and then if grades is equals to negative 1 uh, grave of cell this uh, function for conversion is a function belongs to our CMAT and then we have here the display of our result in in break because we want to get out in our for loop statement here so um, and then end the program that tells the user that the program has been ended in line number 41 up to 44 okay so i will put a link in the description below guys so that you can copy the complete source code for free if you don't want to type so let us compile and run in our dev C++ compiler so that we can see the output. Let's say we have here 74, 89, 86, 74, uh, 72, 94, negative 1. So we have 5 grades. So we have your average grade is uh, 83 in a program. So we can we can verify using calculator in Windows 10 uh, 74 plus 89 plus 86 plus 72 plus 94 451 divided by 5. So we have 83. Okay, that's correct. So let us clear. 
let us run again for second time around 89, 95, 86, 74, 82, 96, 88, negative 1. So the average grade is 87. So let us verify if it is correct. 89 plus 95 plus 86 plus 74 plus 82 plus 96 plus 88. 610 divided by or 7 we have 87 because it is less than 0.5 so it will remain at 87 so end of program so this is the end of our tutorial video guys on how to create an average grade solver using for loop in C++ as you can see, we are not using any arrays here as our data structure. So it is a very uh, straightforward using for loop uh, statement in C++. I uh, hope that you learned something new in this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to share and uh, subscribe. And please share my video to others. And kindly support the channel guys by subscribing. Thank you very much. See you in the next video tutorial, guys. This is your friend Jake saying bye-bye for now.